So today's video is a mixture of different days. Sometimes when we go out, we don't actually go out for more than say an hour, or half an hour. Maybe we've got to get back in, bring the boat back in. Maybe the weather's bad. Or sometimes we just don't film. Some days we just go out and we fish and we film bits and pieces, but we don't really get into the filming. And so we end up with not enough footage to make a video from those days. So instead of scrapping the, the footage, because some of it is still good footage and there was good catches, I decided just to compile those few days from the last few weeks. And I may do this in the future as well when we get other days uh, of various things. Now, some of it will be fishing with the rods, mackerel pollock, the usual stuff, and uh, pots again from when we've done bits and bobs with the crab pots. Anyway, let's get to it. So we've come out to do some fishing. Now, it started raining. <laughs> we had a, we're in a bit of a rush to get out here, so we didn't bother filming anything on the way out. But um, We're going to head out further out after and do a bit more fishing. But for now, we're just going to have a quick go here, just to see if there's anything around. Again, we're just trying for pollock mainly or a mackerel. Right, let's move up. Get out to these areas where there's plenty of water there. So the right tide for it near enough. Right, we've arrived. There's some birds out here, so we're going to fish a little bit and see. If we can find nothing, like I say, we're still after Pollock mainly. Rebecca's having a quick cast for the lure, just to see if there's any bass. Oh, there we go. Mackerel, I reckon. One mackerel, and we're off. I thought we might get a few fish when we arrived, just getting into the mackerel straight away, I thought. Hit the bottom, and as I lift off the bottom, it felt like I was pulling, pulling the seaweed. Pollock or possibly a bass, a bit of a fight. go look at that that's an absolute cracker that one about three pounder i suppose is that easy easy three pounder maybe bigger yeah. fishing in the rain that's what it's all about <laughs> more mackerel coming i've got to keep your face you can see in the water just how much uh, rain is coming down at the moment it's chucking it down Keep the sand deals. We'll keep them as bait even if we freeze them down. And then we can go um, bottom fishing like we do sometimes. Right. Just got into a fish, just dropped down to the bottom and hooked into something. And the pollock. Yeah. Not as big as our other one, but we are shallower at the moment. Oh. Oh, 
Take that. Just got it off and it dropped into the other hooks. Rent from one hook to a whole pile of hooks now. Well, there's our mackerel we had. Bit of hard work getting them, but we got some. Real, real big mackerel as well. Not these little things. And that pollock, ooh, what did we reckon? Three, three and a half, something like that. Three and a half, I'd three say. and a half pound under there, that one there. And like I say, that's much as big as the the uh, pollock. Yeah, that's a normal size one there. And that's the biggies. So good little run that. Right, we better get going because, like I say, we've only got about an hour and then we've got to get in before the tide drops. Right, first pot. Do a time check in a minute as well, make sure that we're not. So, if we don't get back in, uh, well, we won't get back in, simple as that. If the tide drops too far. The moment we're okay. Early morning lift, lobsters. Early morning lift, spiders. <laughs> We weren't early enough for the lobster, obviously. No, nah, he's in the other pot, he's over there. Okay. It's the light. Yeah, it's the light. Right, I'll uh, change position slightly into the pot. Go. This is kind of on rough ground, although it doesn't look that rough when I look at it. It's deeper though, about another 10 feet deeper here. That might be the key. Extra 10 feet, extra couple of lobsters. Make all the difference. Ta -da! <laughs> That's the one. Yep. Yep, size one too. Grab him before he gets himself in trouble with the cribs. That's a nice one. Another male, there's a lot of males around yeah. at the moment. Yeah. 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 That's what we like to see. Nice. Nice big lobster. Doing alright with the large lobsters, I'll tell you. Compared to the, that is compared to the small ones, right? You're getting quite a few large ones. There you go. Perfect. Do you want to do those ones in the middle then, just up here? We've got time. Yeah, we'll do it. So this is the older... The pot hasn't really caught much yet. It looks like it's full of spiders. Yeah, it's full of spiders. It's got a giant eel in it or something. Is it? Oh no, it's the bottom. It looked like it had a huge eel, that black on it, but it's not. It's just the bottom of the pot. Deceiving me. You're right there. Spiders. Look at that. Look at that. Another one's out. They're huge. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Monster crab in there. Mm. 
another one. Oh, look, see it. Yep, it's bad. Better than. Put it down there. Actually, make sure it doesn't make its way over there. Oh, they will. And the one up there, look. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just hanging. <laughs> Oh, well, that's the best it's done so far. I won't worry about no, that. No, don't worry about and that. We'll just take the couple of biggest ones out of that. In disguise in the corner. Yeah. Yeah, if you could. It's up to you because I'm going to say we're going to have to take a minute for it because I do not want to have to lift the store pot from. It's the only thing with the boat, it's going to be awkward because the wind's going to want to swing it. Now, of course, we need that stern rope. Just lifting a single pot now. Well, Rebecca is. Well, the witch. She's the muscle. So. On the switch. It looks like there could be something in this pot. It looks, if it's too heavy, just give me a shout. Yep, a couple of bits in there, but they're all too small. Or are they? Well, I think they are. We'll find out next week. <laughs> yeah. Cut to the advert. Yes, they're all too small. Look at they go. Like a fine oiled machine. Now, that's not a baddie. You're kidding. Well, I might be. You are kidding. Oh, what an absolute gem. Yeah, yeah that's the one. Oh, yeah, just oh, slap careful. it between two slices of bread. Don't even worry about de-shelling it. That's the way we do things around it. <laughs> that's not a bad one. That's um, the best of the bunch. We're going to let him go, but it's, yeah. that would be a keeper normally. But I mean, you get a bit of meat out of the claws and that. Yeah. But... Chuck him back. And that is down. massively over the size. That's probably the size of it there. In fact, grab the gauge from the doodah. Well, that's quite a biggie though. Well, grab the gauge, grab the gauge. The back of the gauge is 14, which is the crab size, the brown crab size. It's a centimeter bigger than the spider size limit. Oh, well, hold on. Let me just get them round. Now, I'm not going to a centimeter off that gauge. What you got there, inch, inch and a half? Inch and a half, yeah. That's an inch and a half over the legal size limit. And I wouldn't even take that. I mean, I'd take it maybe in a very rare instance that I wanted a sandwich, but yeah. that size would still be too small. Yeah. I mean, so there's you can bother so with. many bigger ones. I know, I know. You know there's twice, no point in even... three times the yeah. size. Throw it back. So, there he goes. Throw it back. Back down to the depths. We'll see him in a year or two. We've got a big spider on the outside. Look at it. Ooh. Look at the size of it. Spin the pot. <laughs> I mean, that's a good crab, look. But I'm going to let it go anyway. So It's funny how they sit on the pot, though, sometimes. Because there's other crabs in there, you see. We're just taking a look at our uh, little experimental pot, the pocket pot. We've been out this morning, but it was so we went out almost in the darks of the tides, so we didn't really bother filming. We've had a couple of nice lobsters and a nice big crab, which is down in that box there. Well, there's two actually, and a couple of lobsters there, nice big ones. And we're just checking this one, and it's got a lobster. <laughs> there you go. Does it again? I know, and it's not a tiny one either. Look yeah. at it. Well, this is why I wanted to film it because I'm, I'm like I said, we're putting this one down. It's experiment, so I'd like to film the experiments to see how it gets on. And uh, this is its second big lobster, and it's had a small. Has it had a small one as well? 
think it's had three now yeah. in four drops. Yeah. It shows that it does work having I mean, a little pot. Look at the size of the lobster yeah. against the pot. That's the biggest one we've had today, I think. Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. There you go. That pot works. I'll be making more. Yeah. <laughs> Production. <laughs>